Alright guys, Neil here, doing a video on my pre-heresy word bearers for the now heresy campaign being run by Templar Crusades 01. With the drop site massacre game approaching, I thought I would do a new series of videos now that we've changed from using the Space Marine Codex to using the um, Crusade Space Marine Legion army list from the new Forge World Horus Heresy book Betrayal. So I still have, for those who have seen the old set, my captain, Saw Talgren. He still has his Power Fist and Bolter with Exterminator, which is a one shot, basically, it's a one shot hand flamer. And I've used the master of one of the masters of the chapter models because I thought it was nice how he had Mark III armor on and carrying his helm in his power fist. Made for a nice figure to lead the army. And then he ha is accompanied by one of the new command squads. So. These start come with, as standard with two chosen and a banner bearer, and I've given them another two chosen into the squad. And the squad is all armed with power swords and combat shields because storm shields in the pre heresy era are still only prototypes and very limited in their deployment. So they have combat shields instead. So you may have, if you've seen the older videos, you may remember all of these guys. So these the front three now are made were made using the Mark Three Iron Armor um, kit. Well, the Iron Armor set you can get from Forge World with storm shields added, some reposing done on the arms and using grey knight swords and then with this guy I, he used to have a thunder hammer if I remember correctly but I've changed him to the banner bearer so he's holding up the word bearers legion banner from which makes I believe gives all units within six inches of it, their fearless special rule. And he can he has two wounds unlike the other guys in the squad who all have one. And he also has a power sword. It's just not what holding it out. And then sorry about this. These two here are from my older command squad um, which I have revamped because command squads no longer have a legion champion and well, a champion and an apothecary in them so I resurrected these guys from my old stuff and painted them to match the newer guys and they too have their well their combat sh armed combat shields and power swords so they should hopefully do quite well at chopping up enemy marines while I leave any sort of primarchs and captains and things to the characters in my squad. So to go with the command squad I've given them an apothecary. So apothecaries are now an elite choice and you can take three as an elite choice and they get attached to um, you can attach them to certain units before deployment and they stay with them for the whole game and I've given my guy power sword to match the, the rest of them and he was the old apothecary from the command squad so he's painted with some white on him on the little apron and on the shoulder pad and 
well, and the shoulder pads and his head. So he has the same kind of equipment as a 40k apothecary, so he has the not the seam which goes feel no pain, which is always useful in keeping all, the squad with all your characters in it alive. <coughs> and then I've got my chaplain, who's a conversion from the Emperor's Champion model, who is wet, nicely wearing Mark III armour. And I made his Crozius from the uh, from a Great Knight's warding stuff. So in Betrayal, the chaplains don't get the Rosius yet because they're not really a spiritual leader as such to begin with. They they more look after the spiritual well-being with without the religious part of it and watch over any of the brothers with psychic powers and report them if they use them at least in the loyal legions so and he has the zealot special rules that he gives hatred to the whole squad on the first round of combat so they get to re-roll their missed hit two hit rolls so he he was in the command squad before and a new addition to the command squad is this guy. This is my librarian. So I did a bit of modelling on him with green stuff. So I added this kind of little, what I painted as a sort of pinky purple flame thing that he seems to be conjuring from his hand. And this red cloak. Oop. And he's got a force stave made from Grey Knight's warding stuff. And he is a conversion again from a from the Mark III Iron Armour set. And so he's hopefully going to boost up the squads to make them even more vicious than they already are. So that's my librarian. And then instead of captain or instead of captains and chapter masters really in betrayal you get praetors who are the legion leaders. So this is my guy. He was the old legion champion in my command squad, but he's since had a promotion to Praetor. So I've given him a Paragon Blade, which is easily one of the best new weapons from the Betrayal book. For those of you who know fantasy rules, um, it essentially gives him Killing Blow. So any rolls to sixes on his when he rolls to wound, cause instant death. And it hit the Paragon Blade gives plus one strength and is an AP2 weapon, which doesn't have unwieldy, but is a specialist weapon. So, yeah, and that's my Praetor, who's hopefully there to chop up enemy captains and characters and stuff. So, yeah, so this is my new command cadre as it were for my captain and um, yeah hopefully they'll do well in March at the drop site and sort of help out the side so yeah I hope you like these guys and there'll be more Wordbearers videos coming very shortly <laughs>